Kind of Chester. Beautiful day in September. Lots of folks there. Take no prisoners. Why should I do it? And what should we do with the booth? Well, I'm getting ready on the cannons. Cannons ready? Hey, cannons! Cannonator, you! It's not Shoot. a cannon, it's a Minolta. You heading? Okay, I get it. It's a. Uh, it's a mine gunnel uh, or a ballista or a catapult or whatever. You know what the punishment is for civil who can't keep their heading? What? Just by sinking. They get guillotined. Lose your heading. Uh, have lose, gear lose, too. Lose your heading, get beheaded. Don't keep heading towards the trees. Because yeah, if you change your heading, that rule is not going to go where you're going. So. To make sure he, he avoids you, keep me hitting. Exactly, so we can fire our cannons at him before he boards us. Right? See, that'd be, this would be wonderful on the camcorder. Look at that. That blue boat there. Okay, well, I'm making a movie right now. Oh, here it comes. Great. Moving past Chester Golf Course. Don't really think, Malcolm, you're heading. Malcolm, you're heading is going to be very interesting as a movie. No, I'll see some of them. No, I mean, just me, it's the other. Okay, here's your heading, follow the thing. Sailing in the trade winds right now, and we're coming up to um, Antigua, where we have this pina, pina colada waiting for us. Well, Malcolm, get us another pina colada, would you please? And uh, some steak. Uh -huh. And we do have for the non-alcoholic drink, it's coconut I water. It's like Chester mm -hmm. here, but it's not really in the Caribbean. Yeah. And, uh, those are palm trees over there, aren't they? Right now we're sealing our dinghy ship. But our, our big ship, the 60-foot one, is uh, anchored in the bay there. Keep that sign up. Wait, wait oh, no, that's the map of the Caribbean there. That's oh, your, yes, uh, your right. chart, right? So I've got, I've got to press the uh, ele it? electric button to uh, tighten the mainsail here. Working on them should be ready in two years. Okay, well tell him that I like my stick uh, medium rare. If it's ready in two years, it's going to be well done. And the bale would have a, the new wheel, the bale would have a big burp. Oh, it would be 
hurt though. Yeah, what about it? Well, last time I was by here, you wouldn't believe what I saw that boy. What? It was just out of a dream something, I don't know. It was weird. Hey, were, what was it? There were two young women with a nice tan, wearing just bikinis, no life jackets, and standing there waving at boats going by, and that's it. And then the Coast Guard came along, wondering what they were doing there, and they, they were just sort of waving and laughing. And I think they were perhaps drunk or something. Really? Yeah. How oh, they got there? I don't know. I have no idea. What? No, it's true. Ask, uh, uh, ask uh, Richard. He was with me. Richard was with me, and we, we, we thought we should. At, at first, we thought they needed rescue, like the way they were waving. So I was asking Richard, do you think they want to be rescued or what? And she says, no, like they're having a good time. So I guess. Somebody with a motorboat or something dropped them off there to so they could have a good time waving at boats going by, and they, they were just waiting to be picked up again by this motorboat. They, they dropped them off there, what but they were the standing. They were not in the water. They were standing on that big buoy there. The two of them. What did the coast guard do? The coast guard uh, went up to them and they started to talk back. They were talking to the woman on the. Back. I couldn't hear what the coast guard was saying. Okay, then what happened? I don't know. I, I, I think it was a joke because I, I read the newspapers the next day and there was no mention of anybody being, of two women in a bikini being saved <laughs> off a buoy.